Good morning friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. It's Friday and it has been one of those weeks. So it was Monday, I think, or even last weekend. I'm like looking at the calendar. We have two weeks left of summer break. It's like crazy. So this whole week has been doing all the things that we want to get you know things we want to do over the summer break so like we went to the pool we went to the zoo one day we did some school shopping one day what else did we do oh yesterday we had a lake day where we were out with my dad on his boat and so yeah and then the kids have had bible school at night so it is it was a week that we didn't really have a ton on the calendar but it felt like we did because we've just been on the go all week long so today's friday initially i was like i just want to stay home all day get stuff done but there are a few errands that i'd like to run i'm also thinking about getting over to hobby lobby andrew really wants to go there and look at like the uh, necklaces they've been really into gemstone digs this summer and finding all the fun little rocks and stones and things like that and um, some of these kits come with like little chains you could put the gemstones in well of course when you have three boys all wanting it there's never enough for them so we want to go check and see check the necklace section see if they have something they can't like stick some of these rocks in and make necklaces out of i don't know i figure you know they have a jewelry making section and they might have something that will work so i figure while we do that i can spin through some of the fall decor but before that i do want to actually pull out my fall decor today start looking through bins i don't know that i'm going to get it all organized today but i just want to start looking through it jog my memory a little bit I know I talked about this probably in my last video, but last fall we were in the process of moving and packing up our house. So I didn't go out all out for fall, but this year it is on. This morning, so far though, I've just been finishing up my coffee, tidying up the house, and of course, working on laundry. It's been a week though, I'm just like taking deep breaths. Like we made it next week. So next week is the last full week of summer break. Uh, next week we'll do like kids haircuts um, we'll do some fun stuff too but a lot of those things just going through making sure we have all our school supplies and label need to get my cricket joy out make some labels for school items uh, so just kind of little odds and ends that we need to get done before school starts so yeah it's hard to believe but at the same time it feels like it's been a really long summer so I'm gonna finish my coffee though oh and my hutch came this week and i'm getting goosebumps just talking about it it is like amazing i am 100 percent, even more than 100 percent. i'm 200 percent happy with it i'm so excited to show that to you too but i'm gonna wait just a little bit mainly because I only found five bins for fall decor. I thought I had a lot more. You know, I did do quite a bit of decluttering before we moved, but I don't know, it seems pretty slim. I did not pull out like throw pillows yet or like my blankets. And I think, I mean, those are the, some of the main things, but yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Before I open my bins though, I wanted to give you a little bit of a basement update. So this is the bar area this is an extra bedroom now initially this was going to be our home gym or exercise room that was kind of the plan all along it just doesn't have a good view it 
I don't know, it was just an extra room and I thought, you know what, I think this would be the perfect gym. However, I've kind of changed plans a little bit. I moved the gym to our living room. I just enjoy the view a lot better than in this room looking at a window well, it's so boring. So I have set up a home gym. I have completely changed my morning routine over the past couple of months. I almost feel like I've been cheating on you. So 5 a.m. a year ago was me sitting at my computer editing, working on all my YouTube things. 5 a.m. now I have been up and at it working out every single morning. It has been like just the best experience ever. I've been feeling so much better. And so that's another reason why things have slowed down a little bit on my YouTube channel because I've been working out, exercising. So let me show you what I have set up. First off, I have to say I've joined the Peloton community and I am obsessed. So I first started off with the treadmill and then loved it so much, I went ahead and got the Bike Plus as well. So I basically rotate between these two every single day and right in front of these windows has just worked out so well. We just didn't really have anything planned for this space. It was just sitting empty. I'm like, why not put it in front of these windows and just enjoy the view while I am exercising. Look at the rest of the basement here. I'll talk more in detail about this later, but I finally ordered bar stools uh, for our theater area this morning. So I'll show that when it comes. I think eventually we'll get rid of this table, but like I said, we just had all this open space. It made, it just made sense to put them out here in front of the windows. If you are a Peloton member or whatever, you'll have to let me know. I don't even know what you call it. I'm still kind of a newbie, but about two months in, obsessed. I never thought that I would say that, but here we are. I've lost about seven, eight-ish pounds. I've made a few diet adjustments as well, but between these two pieces of equipment and strength, um, it's been going so well, so no plans to stop. But my name, if you are a member, is Crystal Tara. You can find me easy. Um, I'm still kind of an intermediate user getting into things, but yeah, I could always use some friends over there too. So anyways, with all that being said, I didn't want this to, like turn into that type of video. Let's look at my fall decor. I'm excited to see what's in these bins. For the foreseeable future though, I think this room is going to be my seasonal decorating room where I can open up all my bins. We all know my Christmas bins will fill up this room. So after Christmas, I think we might like set this up as an additional guest bedroom just because we've had, I think three times already, where we've had to have someone sleep on a couch because um, the guest room's being used, it would be nice just to have a bed in here since it's open. Come on, there we go. Getting excited, I see lots of pumpkins. <laughs> Who started decorating for fall? I'm not ready to yet by any means, but Definitely want to see what I all have so I can start envisioning where I want to put a lot of these things. Oh, I forgot about my Kirkland's lanterns. Oh, that makes me so happy. So yeah, I did like usually greenery in one bin and then random decor in the rest. So I took my time, looked through each bin, found quite a few things that I forgot about, one of them being these. A floral stems. I think I got these last year. Super happy I found those. Now I need to figure out which vase to put them in. But yeah, look, just looking through a lot of the florals, really happy with what I have. Now I need to figure out like vases to put them all in. I found my Kirkland's lantern here and I'm kind of surprised. I thought I had two of these, but I've only managed to find one. So I might add like a set of fall lanterns to my list, possibly for my front porch, but lots and lots of pumpkins. I'm going to need a one in, one out policy. If I buy a pumpkin, I must get rid of some, but I don't know, these are all my favorite. And then I just decided to pull out the rest of it so I know what I have. So my little pillow gallery over here, I only have one fall wreath. I got rid of everything else. Um, so I'll definitely need to find another wreath as well, just because I have a couple of ideas for that. And then wall decor here. This is like my all time favorite fall wall decor piece. So we'll have to find a home for that too. Crystal Terra, 
fall headquarters. Kids and I are heading out. We are heading to Aldi and Hobby Lobby. I suppose we should go to Hobby Lobby first just because it's getting a little bit warm out and don't want groceries to sit in the car. So we're going to do both. Main reason though is Aldi, just to get some groceries for the weekend. And now I feel a little bit better about roaming the fall aisles and really taking a closer look. We'll see if the kids will let me though. So I don't know. I do have a Hobby Lobby gift card that we got as a housewarming gift. So it, I don't know if I'd use it on seasonal decor. I'm not sure yet, but we'll at least take a look and see if I can't find anything. All right, you guys ready? Do not let me buy any pumpkins. What? Don't let me buy any pumpkins. Mom, this is cute. Earrings? Yeah, you definitely don't need earrings. We'll keep looking. Oh, mom, that looks cool. Ooh, look at these chains. Oh, mom, these are cool boys. This. Oh, and meh. I'd say those are still kind of for the ladies. See Christmas. It's tempting to look, but not quite yet. <laughs> they just reminded me, don't buy pumpkins. These picks are adorable though. They're like the little Sherpa pumpkin on a stick. <gasps> and the little guys. Oh, they're so cute. Not focusing. And these ones are adorable. I'm at a crossroads. Do we go Christmas or fall? We'll go this way. We are home. Just put my hair back. I look like a hot mess. I promise you I'm not. Well, Probably am actually, but anyways, we went to Aldi as well. I already put those groceries away. It was just a lot of produce, random small things like that, uh, that we needed nothing too exciting, but it was right at lunchtime when we got home. So it was kind of a scramble to get everything in the fridge, get everyone some lunch, and now we are settled for just a little bit. They're out on the deck actually. So anyways, I wanted to show you what I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I grabbed two things, <laughs> one's on the counter. Can you see it back there? Mad I don't have to buy goes, Mom! Because I told him, you know, don't let me buy any. But I slipped it past him. He didn't even know. So I did get, I did get a pumpkin. But it's one that I don't have. And I think it'll be really cute in this house somewhere. So I have a feeling too, Charlie's going to be my pumpkin snatcher. He's really good at stealing things and making you chase him. Like he won't destroy it, but he wants you to chase him and he wants you to know that he has what you want. So <laughs> we should probably be pretty careful with pumpkins this year. But anyways, I did get a pumpkin. The boys did not find any jewelry or chains or necklaces that they were looking for. So we might have to look on Amazon for some of those. I could show you actually, yeah. This is what we were looking for. It's just like one of these where you can open the spring and stick your little gemstone in there. So we couldn't find any if they had them. So we'll, we'll look on Amazon. Here's the pumpkin. Gosh, you guys, I have a problem. <laughs> I can't resist. $12.99, but I think it was 40% off. So that makes it okay. So I will make sure I put a pumpkin in my donation. I mean, look at this pumpkin in this bowl I just showed you in my little haul I shared from Kirkland's. The rope on the handles goes really well with the twine on the pumpkin. This is really cute. I almost, no, I don't need another one. I'll find some others that I already have to go below it, but this might be where it ends up. It's so cute. And the other thing I picked up was this wall decor piece. Of course, I love my green and I just propped it here to see what it looked like but I don't know that it's meant to be in this spot the green I was hoping would be a little bit darker so I might end up painting it to be a little bit darker I'm not quite sure yet but I just I don't know it just reminded me of the accent walls you see everyone doing so I thought this would be a unique way to add a pattern without having to do an accent wall so 50% off of $70 basically. So I'm gonna try it in a few spaces, see if it works. Otherwise it may go back, but I don't know. I do really like it though. I think we'll find a spot for it. 
I think it's probably time though to share with you my hutch or cabinet. It's mostly a cabinet, but I'll probably be using it more like a hutch, displaying just random decor, maybe some kitchen items. We'll just see how it goes. I have not styled or decorated, and I don't plan to until I share my fall decorating with you here in the next few weeks. But anyways, it is beautiful. It's big and it is like, it is like my favorite. I love it so much. I need to show it to you. Here's a before look. I specifically did not include a window here because I wanted to make sure to have space to have a cabinet. And here is what it looks like. I think it ties in so well with our hood vent. And I love the arch detail because a lot of the, almost, I think everything in the house, I went like square. I'm just not a rounded or arch type person. So this definitely softens up the black having the arch at the top. Super tall, high up. It really complements the ceilings really well. Um, so yeah, the door's open. It came fully assembled. It was a monster to get in the house though and unbox it. They didn't do that for us. So glad that is done. It is not moving ever again so what is there one two three four there's five different shelves like i said it is metal but this is like heavy duty metal glass doors i liked this one for a few reasons one i wanted the glass doors because it reflects a lot of light from the windows around the room and also the mirror above the piano and then I also really liked this one because it doesn't, doesn't have like the cross it bars or anything blocking the decor you put on the shelves. The lines that are on the cabinet are in line with the actual shelves. So you're not blocking what you're putting in here. So it's going to be so much fun to decorate. It's huge. But yeah, it, it is not a cheap cabinet, like quality wise. I asked the guys who were um, delivering the box, I'm like, oh, is it light? Can I get it in myself? And they're like, uh, no. They were not joking. It was a struggle. But yeah, let me see if I can back up now. It's, I mean, it draws your eye right to that. Isn't it pretty? I just love it. So more to come with decorating. It's been so hard because I want to just have you know everything full and decorated have all the furniture here but at the same time i also want to invest in good quality items that i know will last a long time and that we will keep around and so slowly we're getting things put together dining room though is i'd say pretty much complete at this point except for adding in decor uh, living room i still have a couple of things but it's probably going to wait till after the holidays because i'll be shuffling things around for christmas trees and things like that uh, the basement of course still needs our family room still a work in progress the upstairs we haven't even really started yet so I mean, it's gonna be a while until I get everything all set up, but I'm really happy to have at least kind of our main floor here ready in um, preparation for all of the seasonal decorating that's to come. Can you tell I'm excited about seasonal decorating? I really am. Hey, oh no, there's that. He needs to run. Yep, he needs to run. Yeah. Freak him out. I bet he would yell at him. Sometimes my foot get caught in the net. They'll just. I'll go tell Ethan to run. He's gotta be loud and run. No, Ethan! <laughs> run! Get him! Ethan's not gonna do it, I'm gonna go there. Oh, there's some. We're running to the pond. We don't want them in our pond, though. They're fine in the pond. They leave poop everywhere. I know. There's leave us your geese tips. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. Cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did it. This I just had this Amazon package arrive. What in the world did I order? That's this size. Like this is huge. I cannot think of it. It's a dog bed for Charlie. A dog bed? Yeah. 
Ah, this yeah. is uh, normally like $50, and I just happen to check. I usually have like save for later items in my Amazon cart. It's $20. I'm like, I have to get it. I've been eyeing this for Charlie Bear because he needs a new one. We have a white one just like this. This is soft, yeah. but it was getting really nasty. So this is like a light gray. Oh, I want this to be mine. So soft. Charlie! Here's the old bed. I know just what you wanted to see in my vlog today, but it's all matted down. This was like a furry or shag one. Never again will I buy that, but it's just discolored. It won't come out when I wash it. It's time to say goodbye. And there's the new one. So much better and so, so soft. I love it. And then I also ordered this from Amazon. It is a mandolin slicer. I have the food chopper, but not a mandolin slicer. And I've been buying more veggies, eating more vegetables, and this had really good reviews. So going to open this and get it washed so it's ready to go. I'm sure I'll show it in a video soon in use. I came in our bedroom to chat just a little bit. The twins are in the living room watching Super, I think it's Super Kitties or Super Kittens. I don't know, I confused the two, but it's on Disney. Super adorable little show about kittens. So anyways, came in here, had a little bit of a scramble this afternoon. I didn't have time to pick up the camera, but right after, I don't even know what we were doing, but I got a text from our builder asking, you know, super last minute, uh, just wondering if I can show your house or bring a couple through your house to look through their potential, I think potential clients of his, I'm not quite sure. I'm like, sure, no problem. He's like, okay, be there in 20 minutes. I'm like, ah! And our house, luckily, our house was somewhat tidy and clean. It usually is just because I have a problem. A big problem. <laughs> oh, but anyway, so it was just like vacuuming under like stools because it was gross and putting away random toys and things that you just don't want to be out and making like toothpaste all over the counters in the kids' bathroom. So it was just like running through the house doing that really quick. So yeah, it was like we were showing our house all over again like last year and that, oh my gosh, that brings back some bad memories. Not bad, but just a lot of work. So anyways, I'm like ready to sit down now for a little bit and just chill. Anyways, I'm glad it worked out that they were able to come through. They were very thankful and appreciative of it. So, yes, I think I'm going to chill for a little bit. I need to do some searching online for a couple of things that I've thought of for my fall decor. And just, I'm oh, also I'm working on a pantry video. I'd like to do it before school starts. I'm hoping next week is my plan to do it if I can get everything in in time for that. Just as we're packing lunches, it would be really nice to have it all organized and stocked and ready to go. So that might be my project next week is the pantry. If I can get, I want to write down everything that I want like baskets for and make sure I get like the right amount. And of course the measurements for all the shelves and things like that. So that's probably what I'll work on this afternoon. And before we know it, it'll be um, time for dinner. We're going to do a movie tonight. We just, we have not been home on a weekend all together as a family for like three or four weeks now. And so just have everyone here. We all just want to like chill and watch a movie, have some pizza and spend a Friday night. Yeah, it's Friday, a Friday night in. Charlie Bear, the geese are back again. Ah, I was going to go outside, show you the, the yard, but it is way too windy outside. So we'll do that another day, but those geese. Okay, my friends, I think I'm going to end today's video right here. We are all just winding down for the day. Pizza in a movie really soon. I'm just trying to finish up some things around the house, fold the load of laundry that's been sitting in the dryer all day long. And then I will feel like I'm accomplished once I get that out of there. But just wanna say thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I will have everything that I can linked down below in the description box that I shared with you today. Oh, my pantry, I did get some baskets ordered. They're supposed to come like next Thursday. So that might, I don't know if I'll be able to record. I don't know, we'll see. You might not see it next week, but maybe the following week. So anyways, that's a work in progress and I cannot wait to share it with you. I think it's going to be really, It'll just be really nice to have it all organized and tidy and what's the word I'm looking for where it all matches, it coordinates and anyways, that's going to be it. I need to stop jabbering now, but thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.